Smash Burger. All right, guys, welcome back to the show. If you're new here, my name is Todd. Sassy's inside. Yeah, watch TV, root me on. You know, wifey stuff. And tonight, I'm going to do up a really delicious way of doing a smash burger. Now, smash burgers I've done in the past, I made the patties a little bit large, takes a little bit longer to cook, and you really lose some of that crispy deliciousness that you can get when you really go with thin, really smashed smash burgers, and you really give those patties a chance to crisp up and you just add more of them drizzle on the cheese man it is so good there's no other way of doing a burger sometimes as far as i'm concerned so today i went over to whole foods to try to get the best ground beef i can get 80 20 20 percent fat to 80 percent you know red meat that's the ratio that you need there's no other way of doing a burger guys read all about it don't trust me but if you do and you trust me Hey, like and subscribe to this channel, folks. Thumbs up, please, and leave a comment. Okay, so I've already made some bacon on the griddle top, and then I spread that grease around, turn the uh, burner down a little bit lower, just kind of let that uh, grease kind of settle in there. I think it's gonna add a nice little flavor and plus a little bit of grease. So before it gets any darker, hey, let's get started. All right, guys, as you can see here, got some nice uh, beef here, so I'm just gonna open it up. Okay, I definitely bought too much. There we go. Looks pretty nice, pretty fresh. I think they ground it just today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to concentrate on just having about four ounce patties. You know, they're not gonna be too big because I want them to smash small and nice and thin, nice and thin. So I'm gonna go with about that size right there. So I'm just gonna eyeball it at this point. And um, you don't need to be super accurate here, break out a scale, you, you know, you, you can if you want. Um, but I'm thinking I'm probably gonna go with just four small little patties like this. That's about all I need. Um, this is gonna do us all weekend because we've got some other projects we're gonna do, so I'm gonna put this away. All right, now, some other things we're gonna do, definitely some nice bakery made brioche buns. These happen to be organic, but they don't need to be. Um, I'm gonna be making some secret sauce here with some mayo and sriracha. I'm gonna put that on the bottom bun. You'll see here in a minute. Um, definitely while it's cooking, I'm gonna use some spice here from Uncle Steve's Shake. Uh, I'm gonna use this in lieu of uh, salt and pepper. So this is all I'm gonna use on this. Should really add a nice little pop. And then to top off each piece of meat, with some queso. Hey, it's right out of the jar. I'm not going to bore you with making a custom cheese sauce. It takes too long and I want to keep it real. Jars are perfectly fine. Got a little bit of mayo here and I'm going to hit it with some of that sriracha and then I'm just going to mix it up. There we go. Simple and tangy. Then I'm going to take a brioche bun. Hey guys, So it's so, so important to uh, butter your buns. There you go. And I'm going to give it a squirt of this butter spread. And then uh, I'm just going to wipe it in there. And uh, this is how they're going to go on to the grill to uh, toast them up. All right, guys, so what we're using today is my trusty little Camp Chef 2X double burner outdoor cooking stove. This thing has never let me down. It's portable. I can stick it in the trunk or the rig, take it camping. This thing takes beating, trust me, guys. All right, guys, so I'm going to turn this back up to about a medium high on the left side and um, about medium on the right side. You know, these Camp Chef two burner stoves tend to have a little cool spot right up the middle. You can kind of see where the hot spot is. So in a way, that's actually kind of convenient. Okay, one uh, nice and neat way of doing these smash burgers, get yourself some of these uh, patty packs, patty paper. Uh, they're really great for uh, doing the smash burger. As you can see, there's a ton of these in here. It'll last a long time, so keep those handy. All right, now, first thing I'm gonna do here, add a little bit of oil, and a pat of butter. 
Okay, now I'm using the uh, avocado oil and uh, I'm going to try to keep that grease from escaping there as much as I can. Now the avocado oil has got a high burn point. Here we go. Steve's. I'm not going to be shy with Uncle Steve's. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to put Patty on every single one of them. Hope they stay in this wind here. And then I got this big old bad boy. And I'm just going to smash it. Hold it for about five seconds. Let it up. Cool, huh? I'm just gonna peel these up really gently now. And that one needs a little bit of help. There we go. Alright, well I've got a little bit of a damage here, but that's okay. We'll take care of that here in a bit. These are uh, grilling nicely, so we'll flip over. I see that, see that crust. That's what you want, guys. Oops. Okay. There we go. All right. Well, that's okay. Shit happens, right? Buns getting toasted nicely. Okay, there we go. Not bad. I'm gonna do the other side a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of that secret sauce I made. There we go. And I'm just gonna do a quick little dusting, about 18 inches of this Uncle Steve's. Get on that buns. Don't forget your buns. All right. It's all the seasoning you need for these things, guys. All right, guys. I think I'll get the this patty on first. Look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? And then a little bit of that queso. Okay. Another patty. More queso. Another patty. You guessed it. More queso. And another patty. Yeah. And more queso, guys. This is awesome. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And there we go. Top it with a bun. Here we go, guys. All right, guys, so I forgot to put the bacon on it, so I'm gonna do that right now. Can't forget the bacon. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna eat this on the side, you know? So here we go. This is a beautiful looking burger, guys. One more shot. All right, I'm going in. Mm. 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 Bacon. Oh. That's really good, guys. Yeah, that's probably the first time I intentionally went with that thin of patties and the crispness is just so awesome, man. Oh, 
All right, guys. I'm gonna finish cooking some for the family. Time to kick you guys out. Hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you on the next one.